Good morning, dear parent. How does it feel as a parent when you struggle so much to pay fees for your son or your daughter in the school where he or she is? And every time he or she comes home, she hands over very poor results to you. Every time results are sent in a text message to you, you feel like your heart wants to leave your body. And when you ask your daughter or your son, they always have got something or somebody to blame. This generation of children we have today, one, it is a very lazy generation. Very lazy. The second thing, this is a generation that is easily dissuaded, is easily swept off their feet by very simple things. Number three, this is a generation that loves soft life, good life without hard work. Number four, this is a very stiff, naked generation. They don't follow instructions. Now, these four things, when they are combined together, and you put them in the life of a student or a child, it gives rise to a number of behaviors. This kind of students we have in schools, or most of the students we have in school, for every poor results they post, either they will be blaming the teacher, they will blame the school, they will blame the weather, they will blame the food, they will blame water in school, they will blame they will always have got somebody to blame. Rarely will they blame themselves. Or, if they don't blame anyone, they just keep quiet. You ask them, Daddy, why have you failed in exams? Mommy, why have you failed in exams? They don't have an answer to give you. They never give you an answer. Do you know the reason why they don't give you an answer? They are not giving you an answer because, number one, according to them, they don't understand why they are failing. Number two, they know why they are failing, but they feel if they tell you, you are going to deny them some privileges. By the way, dear parent, let me tell you, denying your child some privileges as a way of punishing him or her for failing in academics only serves to worsen the situations rather than making them better. Now, as a teacher, I have realized that you can be able to sustain the interest of a child in academic journey by varying the stimulus of the kind of motivation that you give them. Sometimes it, the motivation that you give them can be punishment, but it is punishment that is aimed at motivating them. I want to give you an example. Last year, in KCSE, I think in my, in my school and by virtue of the comparatively schools around, I posted relatively very good results in the classes I was teaching English because I had two candidate classes. Now, what I used to do, I realized that whereas I had got two Form 4 classes that I was teaching English, I had a Form 3 class that, I had, that had been handed over to me and they were very bad in English. It was a bad class. And after one, two, after two terms of interacting with them and teaching them, and the girls were very confident and they were feeling it like they want to compete someone. We did a joint exam. There was a there was a mock exam that Fonfos did in term two. Now, toward that is towards the end of term two. I was shocked that the evening before the girls could do the, the mock exam. The Form 3 class during our lesson came to me and told me, Mwalimo, we want to do paper 1 of that exam. And we also want to do paper 2, except the, the set book question, which is question 2 of paper 2, because they are doing a different set book. And we want you to rank us with the Form 4s, with the two papers, minus their set book. And I agreed to that. So I administered the exam to the Form 4s and administered the exam to the Form 3s. And then I sat down to mark the work. Shock on me. When I compiled the paper one and the paper two minus question two of paper, paper, 
Paper 2, it was paper 1, 60 marks. And paper 2, because it is out of 80 minus 25, it was 55. So this is, was out of 115. I can assure you, of the two form 4 classes, form 3 beat the two of them. Form 3 beat them successfully. And it was a big thing in school. It was a big thing that the, my form 3 class and the two form 4 classes were not seeing eye to eye because of that. And no, now what I did, I went to the form 3 class and incited them against the form 4s. In fact, this is how I incited them. I told them that for every question somebody here has gotten right, go to one of the form 4 classes and create time. In fact, now I decided that for one week, I decided to punish the two form 4 classes. I was not teaching and entering classes. Then I talked to the, to the, I did some local arrangement with my colleagues so that when I was having English in that form 3 class, I was having English in one of the form 4 classes concurrently. So what I would do, I would sit back. Then I would see students leaving the form 3 class, going to the form 4 classes to teach them, revise that paper with them. I wanted to punish them, to, look, to make them look very small. But in the process, I gained something that I wanted. One of the classes, that is form 4 North, they got so irritated with that punishment that when I went to class, their class rep shot up and told me, Mwalimo, we have never been humiliated the way we have been humiliated this week. And I told them it is likely to continue up to KCPE. Then the girl said, Mwalimo, bring another exam. Bring another exam after one week. We want to prove ourselves right or wrong. Again, after one week on a Saturday, I administered an exam. The same paper one and paper two out of 115. <laughs> That Form 4 North class did to the Form 4 South and the Form 3 South that I was having very bad things. Those girls read for that exam and they performed that exam in a very exemplary way. Now look at how I did it. I did not cane them. I did not abuse them. I did not brutalize them or anything. I just decided to incite junior students against them and the manner in which they were being humiliated. They were not being humiliated by abuses. The fact that a Form 3 can walk into their class during the lessons and the English teacher is not there to teach them and is telling them, sit down, I want to teach you how to write minutes. Was humiliating enough. Dear parent, let me tell you, you, there are some punishments that can aim at helping your child and there are some punishments that can aim at destroying your child. The more. I will talk about the punishments later on, maybe on another video. In this particular video, I want to ask you a question. If your son or your daughter is doing poorly in academics, in school, and you are pumping resources into his or her life, how comes during holidays you don't rest? Because you don't rest to ensure that you continue supplying to them. How comes the child rests? Because it is holiday, they rest. This coming half term, on 2nd of March, we want your son and your daughter for a virtual meeting. And in this virtual meeting, we are on all get to discuss four things. To the form ones, our primary focus, and we are going to give them like around three hours in that discussion. We are going to talk about laying your academic foundation and working on them to attain consistent academic excellence. Some of the do's, some of the don'ts that you must embrace when you go to form one. We need to have a conversation with these students because, dear parents, let me tell you, these boys and girls are going to come home. They are going to come home this week. You will notice a big difference. Some of them behaviorally, they shall have changed negatively. The way they are talking to you, the attitude they are having, the way they dress, their orientation, they are, it is going, gender orientation and all the stuff is going to change. And some of you are going to look at your child and you are going to say, my God, is this the kind of child I took to school? We need that child for a conversation on second. I guess it must be on, it, it should be on a Sunday. If I'm not wrong, let me just check second, second. Second is on a Saturday, Saturday this week. We need that particular child for a very serious conversation. Another thing we are going to talk about is how does as a child, 
do you come up with a group of students to form a discussion group that can be able to help you to excel in your subject areas of weaknesses and by extension improve your academic performance number three we are going to talk to these students how to form a serious working partnership with your subject teachers to perform in your areas of weaknesses dear parent before you take money out of your pocket to send to teacher either to mwalimu nimekutumia hiyo chai saidia msichana wangu saidia kijana yangu you may be feeding someone who is not helping your child because if your child is lazy and the children are many in that school you need to know that the teacher will only focus you are t- the teacher is not going to send somebody to call your daughter or your son in the dormitory so that they teach them they will never do that you will keep on sending money and they are going to enjoy your money because they will never tell you to stop sending money keep sending money to them tumia mwalimu wa maths wa chemistry biology they are going to eat your money but you will never get results out of those people because they will never follow your son it is your son to follow them and let me tell you ukora yenyewe inafanyika hapa some of these teachers once they have realized that the term is coming to an end or half term is here with us he has never met your daughter or he has never met your son but you've been sending money he calls your son or your daughter one of the last days towards the end okay huh? they do some things juju juju then za when you can and when you tell your mother or your father that we've been doing a lot of things but remember your son and your daughter will tell you i have been consulting but when you look results you look at the results in that subject it says the opposite it simply means there has been no consultation let me tell you a child cannot keep on consulting me in english for week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 then in week 5 that child does exams and fails it is not possible there must be something that is not being done we need to talk to our students on how to partner with their teachers and this thing called consulting teachers the question is how do you consult a teacher and benefit from it if you bump on this video upon your child arriving from home one even before your child arrives from home my phone number is 0727458852 just send us the name of that child and the class where the class of the child we are going to enroll that child after that on friday i will be sending all the links to the meeting we are going to have on saturday we are going to have that meeting on saturday from 9 to 4 pm though we are going to have breaks in between that meeting is extremely free after the training we are going to enroll your child for an academic uh for an academic what we call academic group there's an academic program we are running during the holidays april holidays august holidays and december holidays we are going to enroll you and we are going to enroll your child so that during holidays as you continue fighting to get him or her money and fees and upkeep this child should be in class kama ko shule class kama ko nyumbani class let nobody lie to you that watoto waende wa nyumbani wapumzike these kind of children we are raising nowadays don't know how to use their free time for them free time is to go and do some of the nasty things they are doing outside there and so they need to be they should be given very little resting space they should be given very little resting place space so that you can be able to contain them continuously if you don't if you give them the leverage and the opportunity this is what happens all the things that teachers taught them before they come for half term will be left in at home because of the things they will engage him in they will carry all the rest the bad things they have picked from home to school for the first 4 5 weeks the teachers will be dealing with them to remove those things from their head the little time that remains is to give them the little that they can grasp that term and as a result by the end of the term there will be no results we can stop this vicious circle and end up end up with students that we can be able to count on academically please bring us your child if you bump onto this video forward this video to a fellow parent forward this video to your class forward this video to a friend and a colleague we want as many children as possible on saturday for this particular conversation and i can assure you as a parent if you get time on saturday join this conversation we are going to talk a lot of things together i wish your children well as they travel back home i wish you well as you travel to and from work to find for your children and i dream that by the end of this year we are having the last form 4 class now joining form 4 today nini this year and after this form 1 class we shall never talk about kcse again it is done and dusted we need to finish strong we need to finish very very uh happily 
So welcome on board in this endeavor. We have been here. You can go to my previous video and see what we have been doing during holidays. I wish you well. God bless you. Goodbye.